Okay. So we have our let statements because in this problem, she's working two jobs as a lifeguard and as a concession stand. So that's why we came up with L for lifeguard and C for concession stand. We got our first part of our system and go ahead and make your bracket for your equations. Our first equation is from the very first sentence. And if you read it, it says 18 hours as a lifeguard, which is where we got 18L plus 12C earned $228. The second sentence though started with the total, so we wrote it that way. And then we have 24 hours as a lifeguard and eight hours of the concession stand. Here's what our graphic organizer is letting us know is the next step in solving system word problems. Today, we're using elimination. We need to rewrite the system so the terms are aligned. Because if you remember with um, elimination, they are in standard form and we're trying to cross out a term, right? So I'm gonna rewrite this so that number two is written in standard form. Right now it's in reverse standard form, isn't it? So let's put the first one, 18L plus 12C equals 228. And then we're going to rewrite equation 2 is 24L plus 8C is equal to 254. I specifically chose this one as my example to go do with you guys because of this next step. We have to determine which variable <clears throat> to eliminate. And as you guys remember, when we first started doing elimination problems <coughs> a couple days ago, it was things like 4x over minus 4x, and it was really obvious that we needed to eliminate the x term. This isn't so obvious. Let's take a look here. 18 and 24. Is it going to be easy to multiply one of these by something and get rid of it? What about the c terms? The thing is, when I look at the C terms, I have 12C and I have 8C. I want to turn them both into 24. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so the first equation is going to have to get multiplied by 2. And the second equation is going to have to be multiplied by what? 3. three. But one of them has to be negative. Right? Because we can't have 24C over 24C and eliminate. We have to have a 24C and a negative 24C. So let's put in here that we're going to we're going to eliminate the C term. And then down here, let's write what we just said. We're going to take 18L plus 12C equals 228. And we're going to multiply that by 2. And rewrite it in the next box. 2 times 18L is going to be 36L plus 24C equals, I did this for us already so we don't all have to grab calculators, 228 times 2 is 446, or 456. Yes? Could we have times like both equations by like like for the top, like one over third, one over three, then the bottom one. I was thinking we could have done this with fractions, but since we're so new to this, I didn't want to mess it up or make it more confusing. You are correct. I might have been able to use a fraction to get these to be a similar term. <clears throat> okay, let's rewrite the second equation. 24L plus 8C equals 254. To get our C term, C term to um, eliminate, we have to multiply this by negative 3. When I multiply 24L by negative 3, I end up with negative 72L. 8C times negative 3 is going to give us our negative 24C, which was the goal. And 254 times negative 3 gives us negative 762. Notice the title of this box. 
combine the equations and solve for the other variable. So we are going to solve, we, we said we're eliminating the C term, which we can. 36L minus 72L is going to give us negative 36L. 456 minus 762 gives us negative 306. And when I divide both of those by negative 36, I get L is equal to 8.5. So how much money does she make lifeguarding? $8.50. $8.50. Now, this is the main reason we, use, we learn substitution before we learn elimination, because you cannot finish elimination without using substitution. Because our next step is to take what we learned and substitute it to solve for the, elimination, the other eliminated variable. So we're going to find out what C is now. I'm going to use the first equation, 18L plus 12C equals 228. Oops, except I read a plus sign. And I'm going to take this 8.5 that we found is the L, and I'm going to bring it over here and substitute it in. So this gets rewritten as 18 times 8.5 plus 12C equals 228. Um, 18 times 8.5 is 153, plus 12C equals 228. Next step is to subtract 153. This is a tiny box and I'm running out of room, so I'm not going to show the step. But I can tell you that 12C, after we subtract 153, equals 75. And when I divide both sides by 12, I get C is equal to $6.25. So our solution, she earns $6.25 an hour. I'm going to save space by putting PH, standing for per hour, at the concession stand. and $8.50 an hour lifeguarding.